mind and soul as well, because if his mind and soul are tempered with, his powerful source, his concept, will prevent them from being affected. It's absolutely dummy insane. Funny enough, on that note, if Anos were to unsuppress his magic, it would release this massive fear aura around him that would cause other people to actually just instantaneously die as a defense mechanism of their own bodies. Their bodies would rather just completely kill themselves than even be in the presence of his magic. So his fear hacks is absolutely insane. And this also means that he's not ever just really releasing all of his magic at once because everybody would literally just die. Speaking of that fear hacks, Anos's magic and his fear hacks is so good that he can actually scare the source of what his opponent is to prevent their abilities from working. So, for instance, he wouldn't put the fear into Ichigo, he would put the fear into like who Ichigo is and what Ichigo's Ryansu is, so Ichigo's Ryansu wouldn't function. He basically shuts down every power system at a conceptual level by specifically targeting the power source itself and not the person, which is insanely broken. It's a very nuanced way of using a fear hacks and it's extremely effective. Speaking on his ability to heal and create life and everything, he actually created his seven demon emperors from his own blood. So if he's ever being pressed and just ever needs backup for whatever reason, he can just create all of them at the flick of a wrist or just with a small pin drop of his own blood. He can also create things out of nothing as well as he created this little snow globe for Misha and he says that he literally created the atoms for that object out of nothing, which makes sense because as we'll get into later with Anos, he's completely unbound by all laws as well. You know, conventional science would tell us that we can't really just make something out of nothing, but Anos says screw that, I have magic. He also has the Goku ability of being able to read minds as when his friend Ivis was basically being mind hacks by the other Anos Vold Gold won't spoil too much if you actually want to go watch the series for yourself, but he just reads his entire mind in his past history, so if there's anything specific he needs to know about his opponent, he could just put his hand on them and be like, oh, now I know literally everything about you. He says that the same magic won't work on him twice, but that also doesn't mean it would have worked in the first place, because he says this in response to when some goons tried to throw 1,088 different magics at him. And so Anos basically says the same thing won't work on me twice, but that doesn't even mean it'll work in the first place as we can obviously outline with all the abilities we've just gone over. Funny enough, he can actually directly interact with the source of others, and I mean literally can directly interact with it physically, he actually grabs people's sources, meaning not only can he interact with souls, concepts, spirits, minds, rumors, and stories, because all of those things are what a source is made out of, so again, if it is a soul, mind, rumor, story, concept, he can grab any of those and directly just crush it if he wants to. And if that it was all just not broken enough, he can share his abilities with other people. So yeah, it's literally like you pull up on my crew, I just give them all of my abilities and then we just stomp the living daylights out of you. But we're not actually done because I haven't got to talk about it. That is sword yet, which I know I'm probably going to butcher this. What is it? Venezuela? <laughs> we're just going to call it Venezuela, the sword. Or maybe we'll just call it the sword. I don't know. I can't really pronounce it. But basically, this thing is like a sidekick to him. Like it's a whole other list of abilities. And let's just go ahead and talk about this thing. First and foremost, when he first reveals the sword, he says that anyone who has seen this sword before has had their source completely destroyed, so just confirmation that the sword can completely eradicate somebody's concept. During his battle against Ivis, when he kind of becomes the god of time, we learn that it inflicts wounds upon people that even if you rewind time, they can't heal, so the wounds themselves are like a causal and that they just will always remain on the person unless you have some odd way of directly healing them i.e just having anos heal them himself for you and then also it obviously obliterated ivis when he was the god of time and you know destroyed him source and all the source being akin to again the god of time's concept got destroyed by this sword in his fight against Melhaze, we actually learned that he can cut the target even if the sword misses because this sword completely disregards all laws, all of them, on some Dicere nonsense. Not just like, oh, it ignores the laws of like space and time. It's like, no, 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 no. All laws. Nothing is bound by this thing. 
So it's like the pinnacle of law manipulation as it can just completely disregard all of those. And another example is that he was able to cut numerous portals with one swing, again, kind of disregarding all conventional laws. And again, just to reiterate, it destroys and disregards all laws, right? Like, let's just make sure that's clear. The reason this is kind of notable is that in the final fight against, I won't spoil who, the sword is able to fight against the person that becomes the new world order, the new embodiment of a new set of laws, but the sword rewrites the laws of the new world order so it still functions normally. Basically meaning you cannot use law manipulation on this guy. Law manipulation is very close to things like rule manipulation, conceptual manipulation. It's kind of like that high tier of an ability and it's just generally absolutely broken. And just think about it this way. This all comes from the anime, just the first season of the anime. There's a second season coming out in the fall. And if you guys want me to update this video when we get season two, I'll be glad to do so. Just make sure you leave a like on the video, you subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment down below of uh, what you think about the boy Anos Voldegort. I am really looking forward to see a lot of people running around with this character now, not just kind of knowing what he can do, and just obliterating people in debates, because you can use him in pretty much any tier. I mean, even if you, you could have him fight higher tier characters, like even though in the anime, he's like comfortably universal, you can bring him up against higher tier characters and they just won't be able to kill him because there's not a lot of characters that can put somebody down that regenerates from their concept being destroyed and they're also immune to all laws. If anybody here plays Yu-Gi-Oh, this guy is literally just Final Sigma being slapped down on the board and just saying like, yeah, do something, bro. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Again, if-